हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी ए सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल इन ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल व्हाट इज सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल स्टूडेंट्स सो ट्रांजिशन मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेज विथ स्क्वायर प्लेनर जोमेट्री आर कंसिडर टू बी एक्सेप्शनल टू एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल सो ट्रांजिशन मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्स विथ स्क्वायर प्लेनर जोमेट्री दैट इज दे आर फॉलो द सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल दे विल नॉट फॉलो एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल दे हैव टोटल ऑफ सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द वैलेंस सेल ऑफ मेटल एटम आर आयन दे हैव टोटल सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द वैलेंस सेल वेन यू सी द कॉम्प्लेक्स स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्स विद स्क्वायर प्लेन आर जोमेट्री दे हैव टोटल सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द वैलेंस सेल ऑफ मेटल एटम आर आयन एट दीज कॉम्प्लेक्सेज पॉजिस सच ए हाई स्टेबिलिटी दैट इट इज ऑफन सेट दैट दे ओबे सिक्सटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल सो मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्स विद स्क्वायर प्लेन आर जोमेट्री मेटल complex when it is having full ligand and the complex is what square planar geometry they are more stable understanding students metal complex with having four ligands and the geometry will be what square planar geometry they are possess high stability it is open that means we can say they obey 16 electron rule understanding students the organometallic compounds with 16 electrons are common on the right hand side of the periodic table when you see students right hand side of the periodic table they are all the complexes which are formed they are following the 16 electron rule the organometallic compounds with 16 electrons are common on the right hand side of the periodic table say for example students complexes of rhodium 1 plus iridium 1 plus nickel 2 plus platinum 2 plus when they will form the complex students they will follow the 16 electron rule say for example students here i have taken first example that is this is the example students this is the complex here rhodium complex Having chlorine triphenyl phosphine, now rhodium will go rhodium one plus. That means it will carry eight electron in the outermost orbit of rhodium one plus. Now there is a chloride ion will contribute two electrons because they are ligands. They will donate two electrons. Now triphenyl phosphine will also donate. Here it twins because it is triphenyl phosphine. Here it is what three number. They will donate two two electrons. That means total six electron. When you see the structure twins, when you see the total number of electron is sixteen. this complex is very important complex and very stable so this way we can explain the stability of this complex understanding rhodium complex iridium complex it is forming the complex with ligand chloride carbonyl and triphenyl phosphine now here students iridium will go iridium 1 plus oxidation state when you see the iridium 1 plus oxidation outermost orbit it will carry eight electron chloride ligand will donate two electrons carbonyl will donate two electrons and triphenyl phosphine which is two in number will donate four electrons when you add the electron students 8 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 total 16 electrons are coming from this we can see this complex is very stable complex understanding students we can explain the stability of the iridium uh, complex like this because it carries total 16 electrons in the outermost orbit this way we can explain the stability of the complex now students when you are going to see the third example students that is c here we have nickel nickel complex nickel complex students here nickel tetracyanide what happens students here the nickel atom will go nickel 2 plus when the nickel will donate two electrons students uh, nickel will go in plus two oxidation state outermost orbit will have eight electrons understand students and four cyanide will donate eight electrons that is two two electrons and total how many four so four two is eight electrons is donated by cyanide ligand when you add the electron students it will come eight plus eight is nothing but 16 electrons so this complex nickel complex is very stable complex having plus two charge understand students this way you can ex explain the stability of the stability of the nickel complex now students now students this is the fourth example students d now here in platinum complex students platinum will go platinum 2 plus oxidation state will have eight electrons now three chloride will donate six electron now here it is what eth ethene will donate two electrons when you add the total number of electron will be 16 so from here also students 16 electrons are present around in this complex that is why this complex is what very stable complex this way you can explain the stability of the platinum complex platinum complex with having two chloride and one ethylene diamide okay students now here platinum will go pl platinum 2 plus complex it will have eight electron in outermost orbit now here students two chloride will provide uh, donate four electrons and ethylene one ethylene diamide having two donor groups will pro, uh, donate four electrons when you add the students electrons will be 16 so that is why this complex is very stable complex this way you can explain the the stability of this complex now what happens students platinum in tetrachloride platinum tetrachloride 2 minus here platinum will go platinum 2 plus oxidation state will have eight electron in the outermost orbit now four chloride 
ion will donate 8 electrons when you add the total number of electrons students the total will be 16 so 16 electrons are present in the outermost orbit of this complex these 16 electrons will show that this complex are very stable that is why this complex is very stable lithium tetrachloride is very stable so you can explain the stability students in this compound also here students you have rhodium in rhodium complex students 2 rhodium because it is dimeric compound students so we have taken 2 rhodium will provide 18 electrons understanding now there is 2 chloride ligands will donate 6 electron and 4 carbonyl ligand will donate 8 electron when you add the total number of electron will be, will be 32 electron because here it is dimeric complex students per 16 electron will be there in per rhodium atom so that is why this dimer is also very stable complex the rhodium dimer is what very very stable complex this way you can explain the stability of the complex so these are very important students for the examination point of view if you in examination they will ask why this complex is stable even though they are not following 18 electrons rule so this way you have to explain the stability of these complexes so these are very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you